he didn't think that I was straight. He thought I was a lesbian <laughs> because I was with my girlfriend who... Which would have been fine too. Like so the I was both confused of us. because they were holding hands. Who? Girls hold hands? I yeah. misread the whole situation. <laughs> he misread it. <laughs> so... No, that was God's we plan. thought one, and then maybe later on we'll have another one. But yeah, God had a different plan for us, and he gave us three in one day. It was the way that he was speaking like I was beneath him. Yeah. And that's what was, you know, weird. And then what hurt the most was no one stopped it. Yeah. In an era where Tinder has become the go-to thing, we have a couple who have redefined love. While Sunny Leone has catapulted herself into the big league, Daniel has supported her and how. And together, they have given us couple goals. We have them together joining us for a conversation only on No More Secrets. Welcome. How have you been? Long time. Very, like, very good. I want to start off by asking, Let's get it. Get to the point. When did you first meet and how did you guys meet? On Tinder. No! Oh, why would you say that? <laughs> no, not on Tinder. I don't even think Tinder existed. I was her swipe. <laughs> That's rubbish. He's lying. <laughs> we, we met in, okay, well, all, out of all places in the yeah, world. <laughs> actually, it would have been better, better if Tinder. I was her swipe because... <laughs> <laughs> we met in Las Vegas yes. and um, I was with one of my really close friends and going to go meet Daniel's bandmate at this, uh, at Mandalay Bay. And I was supposed to meet, I was supposed to go out on a date with Polly Shore. I did not, he ditched me. So I got there. <laughs> let's, let's give the, Polly Shore is a comedian from like oh, early the, yeah, MTV nobody, days. Yeah. And he. Very funny, very He popular. was in the lobby of Mandalay Bay and he was going to meet her and he saw somebody else like a friend of his, and he veered off to go see his friend. And then God <laughs> must have ushered me to her. Right. That's destiny. Destiny. Yeah. So that was how how many years ago? Twelve. Twelve years oh ago. Oh my God. Long before Tinder. Twelve this week. When did you... Uh, wait, wait, wait. But he didn't think that I was straight. He thought I was a lesbian. <laughs> because I was with my girlfriend who... Which would have been fine too. Is a lesbian, <laughs> but she dresses like sort of masculine so he thought that him like so the I was both of us because they were holding hands <laughs> who girls hold hands i yeah. misread the whole situation <laughs> he misread it <laughs> it's so funny literally our conversation in las yeah. vegas was maybe three words or yeah because i'm very shy so then yeah i didn't really know what to say and i already assumed that she was with somebody it was you don't talk that much he's like yeah i don't yeah. <laughs> and i was like okay you know obviously you're taken or something because you know, no no I so then her. there's I, more oh, there's that, more i was actually on tour i was doing a concert in la i invited her but she didn't come i didn't come why well maybe she wanted no, too easy i didn't really dig the bandmate so i just thought that they would be the yeah. same type of person yeah. and so you didn't then, like the bandmates yeah, oh, yeah we like, little, like yeah. little, yeah, little. So when did you realize that he's the one? When I was in, oh, I was in Oman shooting a film, and it was around Valentine's Day, and just I, one month after we met, <laughs> isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. So we, when I, we had our first date. No funny business happened. He was a complete gentleman, um, and then <laughs> you were so good. Um, and then we spoke every single day while I was gone. I had like a stack of phone cards like this. He'd flown in flowers from Switzerland for Valentine's Day, send me mixed CDs How and cute. like letters. Old yeah. yeah. Persistence pays. So, uh, Sunny, tell me something. When you weren't dating and you, were, you wanted to date somebody, what are the qualities that you look for in a man that was there in him and vice versa for you. What were the qualities that you look for in a woman that you go first? I don't think that any of my look or qualities was what she was really looking for. No, it was exactly what I was looking for because what? I wanted, okay, I was but newly. But your ex was completely the opposite. Yeah, of he was a like jock. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so like. I was newly single. I was with my girlfriend in Las Vegas. We were going to uh, I had like worked there, she had worked there. That's why her and I worked together most of the time. So 
we were there, I was like, I'm single, I'm meeting people, I want to have like, you know, one night stands with people, this is how it's gonna be, I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna be crazy, I'm in Las Vegas. And then I saw Daniel, I was like, yes, bad boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he's a complete opposite of bad. He's an angel. Yeah. Um, literally, like, God took away my mother and he gave me him. You know, girls, us, us girls, we have a very long list. Guys okay, have lists too. Yeah, we, no, 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 no. <laughs> but it's probably smaller. Yeah, we don't have like an exact list. Our list kind of like varies based on like how the day goes or when we see somebody. So I didn't have like a list of like, this is what I want her to look like and be like. For me, it was, I met her. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, she's amazing. And then like, you know, an hour later, I was like, I think I'm in love with her. And that's how shallow we are. On our we're, first date, he yeah. said, I love you. Yeah, we're so oh. shallow. Yeah. How did you react to that? Ours, I didn't, I, we were species, drinking. The male species <laughs> is so shallow at times that we, you know, we say with love you too easily. The wrong. <laughs> the no, wrong. We think with the wrong head half. sometimes. Okay, so no. he said it out loud. I did not. <laughs> yeah, we get confused. We are. Might need you know, a beep. So. <laughs> and a lot of times we find out later, like, oh man, that wasn't a good choice. And you know what? This was an amazing choice. But how did the families react to you know your marriage, your love, your love story? Like when you told them about it. How did the family react to each other? My <laughs> parents were a little confused. I had just gotten out of a long relationship and uh, it, my parents are... Maybe, Should I just tell the story? Yeah, maybe it'll be better. <laughs> Should I, I just, yeah. I'll just tell the story of yeah. how I met his mother. Cause I'm like s skating around the... <laughs> so she'll just be more direct about it. It's my mother, Daniel, I don't feel like. <laughs> Daniel worked in a steel factory but he worked so much to the point that he would get like what is clinically called like um, exhaustion, where he would get a fever, he would need yeah. IV fluids, he'd be dehydrated, he would be sick, he would be shivering in bed, sweating. So I took him to the hospital one of those times that he was sick. And remind you, I was in the middle of the night or early in the morning, one of those, I had a hoodie on, my hair's in some weird something, no makeup on. I'm wearing like sloppy sweatpants and a sweatshirt because he had to go to the hospital. Yeah. Who has time to get dressed up? Absolutely. So then he's resting, getting his IV. I'm on the floor playing video games like this, you know, you know, with my hoodie on. And in comes his, in, in his mother. She's got like these beautiful patent leather shiny shoes on, perfectly like pressed pants, this beautiful jacket. At like three in the morning, by the way. <laughs> this beautiful she's like, shirt on. Walks in well like she's out. like she ready has to go. Like, she's got rocks, like huge <laughs> diamonds everywhere. And there's little me with not a penny to my name. And then, <laughs> so I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> what's up? I was like, I'm just gonna leave you two guys alone. And then the um, I was back. like, hi, how are you? And Daniel had to go, mom, say hello. I was like, oh shit, she doesn't like me already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so screwed. And that's how they first met. And I'm like, I'm just gonna wait outside. But tell me, Sammy and Daniel, you know, there might be days when, when your mood is a little off or you, you are not feeling too great about things. How do, how do you cheer the other one up? Like, what are the ways in which you boost each other? I don't know, that didn't happen last night. <laughs> I was oh. in a bad. I was. Yeah, I wasn't you in a bad mood. Last night. Yeah, but he kept asking, "What's wrong?" I mean, seriously, that's like the worst that's thing you can do. ask. What's going <laughs> on? Up. Something's wrong with you. Are you what's mad? Wrong? Something's wrong. Just something. tell me what's wrong with you. I'm Just like, nothing is wrong, wrong with me. <laughs> He's like, do we need some time alone? Fine, I'm <laughs> going. I'm a fixer. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, so, so then he's like saying something from the den, and I'm already walking. Fine, you just kicked me out of the room anyway, so I'm just gonna go do my thing. I really just wanted to know what you wanted to watch on Netflix. <laughs> this was that was actually what, all what I wanted the, to know. What the news, the whole argument was I over. I didn't know it was gonna spiral into some whole other zone. <laughs> over who's yeah. gonna choose the Netflix show that's to it. watch. Oh, that was really? All, that whole thing started. Because we have like I very little time. We have very what little am I time. supposed to do? We haven't so had then, a minute to sit down and like. <laughs> So then I was like, you're impossible. <laughs> and I was like, fine, I'll choose. So then I had to sit there and press. I think he just did, was being lazy. We're usually on the same page, unless he wants to open the door in the middle of the night 
because somebody's knocking on it because he thinks he can defend the entire family in his chuddies and, you know, nothing in his hands. And that's it. His bare fists is coming out the door. <laughs> it seems to upset her. I don't know why. What is it that upsets you the most? Like if there's, if there's one annoying habit in her and one annoying habit in him that really annoys you. Like um, this, this is something that I would, don't like at all. Go, you go ahead first. Let me think know. about this. Okay, I, I, good, because I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what is the annoying habit? I think I know When it. he's crunching on yeah. nuts and it's completely silent. But you want to know something? The other day at the table, she was chewing on a taco <laughs> shell that was really loud and she said, to, I, go, I didn't really even say, loud. she's like, you're really loud, and I said, and it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even bother me, keep chewing away. And he looks at me, he gives me the look, and then he goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, even when you discuss work, because yeah. uh, not many people know that you manage her work. Mm. Um, so when there's some script, you know, how much uh, involvement does he have, like uh, in the say that, Nothing. should you do it, should Nothing. you not do it? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. We have totally separate departments. She likes the script, and it could be the crappiest group of people. She has to make her own decision. If she does, maybe I need help. <laughs> Listen, that's why we have people like Ibrahim and other people. There's other people on our team. We have a large, large team of people. The only time it becomes a conversation where we are in it together is when it's like we're watching an edit, and we'd be like, "Oh my God, we're in trouble." <laughs> Everybody who knows you loves you for the person that you are. You're amazingly sweet, you're amazingly comforting. There are times when people have had a certain perception about you and I will bring that uh, interview where you were deeply disrespected by the journalist. You might have had the courage to sit on that chair for the entire 20 minutes of the interview but people who watched it felt uncomfortable and we can imagine how uncomfortable or it must have been really uncomfortable it for was. you sitting. If you go back and read, yeah. you have like one of those uh, body analyst yeah actually you know like decipher define like all my yeah. body language I was extremely uncomfortable I was sitting like this yeah with my fingers the whole time like just it was like plaster smile yeah. because I didn't you know like plaster it grip my teeth and you know try and make it through each of those questions because for some reason in my head yeah I was thinking okay he's gonna stop now Okay, he's gonna stop. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be the last weird question. Um, <clears throat> and then at a certain point, I have this belief that I've had for a very, very long time that I don't believe that I should let somebody else get the best yeah. of me. If I let him get the best of who I am, then I lose. True. So s sitting there through the whole thing, I answer the question. It's not like he asked me a question that I've not been yeah. asked before in my life. I've been asked these questions many, but many times. But the way they were put. Right. Yeah. And right. the language was really crass. Delivery is everything. Yeah. Right. So it was the way that he was speaking like I was beneath him. Yeah. And that's what was, you know, weird. And then what hurt the most was no one stopped it. Yeah. I'd, I'd never ever felt so alone in that one moment not somebody from the production, not just a general person saying, hey guys, this is out of line. Yeah. Not somebody from my team because they didn't know what to do. They were told that this is a senior journalist and if they come in between, they don't, they don't know how to the react. The repercussions, yeah. Not one, not one person said, this is wrong, we need to stop. Yeah. And I asked everybody, I go, did I do something to you? Did I hurt you? Did I not? Was I not nice enough to you that you would feel that I should have to go through this? Did, did, what did I do yeah. that you didn't want to stop this, you know? Did you break down after the interview? When I broke down after. I, I crawled into a ball for a few days. Not crying, just yeah. feeling pretty bad. And, and it went on. We went back to the U.S. And even there, I shut off. I didn't look at, I didn't look at social media. Mm. I didn't look at anything. He did. And he would give me the update if I needed one. But everything has changed for you, Sunny. And on that note, we'll move on to the second segment. So we are back with Sunny and Daniel. And now, welcoming you to the second segment, which is Heart to Heart. In your case, we are going to talk about your kids <laughs> who have become extremely popular and they're extremely Aww. cute, like I Aww. said. So tell me, how has parenthood 
changed your lifestyle and changed you as people. <laughs> Everything. Every single second of the day and every single decision. Yeah. Everything really becomes True. the focus. And then all of a sudden when you get like two days, we just took two days away from them, which was our first two days away by ourselves in two years uh, since our boys were born. And first this, personal day. Yeah. Yeah. One, one was personal work. day, one was work. A performance yeah. was in uh, Pattaya and we went to Bangkok and we toured around, went to some temples, shopped and whatnot. And by the second day, you we started were, to think. Yeah, we're we like, were like, we're done. okay, we're done, we're ready. Let's go. I got my Muay Thai shorts, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm good to go. And then the next thing you know, you're <laughs> shopping for the kids anyway, yeah. and you're doing stuff. So everything in your life automatically, if you're engaged with your children, everything just revolves around them. Yeah, and, and the focus shifts yeah, completely. And that's it, they're priority number one, and everything else is secondary. Did you always plan to have a family of three? Like no. The, no. Was, it, was it the plan? No. No, no that was God's plan. <laughs> we thought plan. one. And then maybe later on, we'll have another one. But yeah, God had a different plan for us and he gave us three in one day. I couldn't picture our lives without the three of them. Yeah. yeah. You know, on those, like this morning, both of them were screaming in my face because they don't want to sit in car seats. I believe in car seats. I believe that uh, the safety of my child in a car is very important. Yeah. So I put them in the car seat. Well, now they're almost two. They don't want to sit in the car seat. And instead, they're screaming in my face going, no, mama, no, no, mama, no. <laughs> and I'm saying, yes, Ashram, yes. <laughs> I'm like, cookie, video, cookie, something? Just, should I sing to you? <laughs> What's happening? Can you just please sit down? What's gonna grab your attention? Finally, what grabbed his attention? A grape. <laughs> The weirdest she sat down. You know, Sunny, tell me something, and Daniel, um, you did something really nice when you adopted Nisha. You told you had said in an interview that there were so many kids around you when you had gone. What was it that you felt, uh, you know, about Nisha that you know you felt that this is this is going to be my kid? You, um, you had told me last time, I think, during Mastiza Ade only, that you wanted to embrace motherhood. This was your first child. Right. So, yeah, so it kind of, yeah. There might have been two stories that might so have got mixed up. We went to St. Catharines, we would donate time there. there that's where there's so many little that's girls. That's in Mumbai, there's 300 kids mm -hmm. there. There, you don't get, to, in India, you don't choose your child. The government matches you with a child. Okay. You also can't choose where the child comes from. Okay. No. You can choose a state okay. or multiple states, but you can't choose a, an actual agency child, or yeah. orphanage or home that it's coming from. So we would go visit children. Um, so that was our, what they call home study area was St. Catharines. Then, you know, a year and a half later, they matched us with a child from Latour, which was Nisha. So when we went, it wasn't like, oh, we're going to choose a child. Nisha, oh, yeah. okay. Nisha yeah. was like then a then gift from God. Yeah. 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 So this was. I always say that Nisha chose us. Yeah. yeah. We didn't choose Nisha. Yeah. So. And you said the lovely thing that the first time, do you remember the first time you guys met Nisha? Yeah, of course. I remember like it was yesterday. No, what, what, what actually was she doing? So N Nisha, I met Nisha first. Yeah. Um, because I was shooting, he was already in Los Angeles, I was going to be flying there. And um, I, two weeks, no, no, a month before, it, she's from La Tour. We'd flown to La Tour and we almost got into a plane accident. So we said, we're never going back to La Tour in our lives. Never. Ever, ever going to step foot on a plane, private plane to fly to La Tour because we almost died. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the pilot's doing Satnam Vaheguru, Satnam Vaheguru. I mean, while, while crash landing. we could see him. He's as close as you are to me. This little six-seater plane. Yeah. He, the pilot said, I thought we were going to die. I was like, aren't you? Isn't that like the first rule in the book? Never tell what? the passengers that? Yeah. He thought that, that said we were crashing. We were screaming, everyone. It was so bad. Well, and the week before, like, uh, the Some... CM or someone was in a helicopter crash that was also from Aurangabad to Latour or vice versa. Which is very bad. So, so there's a lot of turbulence like before monsoons in, in that area. So we got we got the letter that says we've been matched with a little girl and I call up um, one of our employees and I said, can you find out if there's a charter I can charter from Mumbai to Latour? And he's like, what are you saying? First Why are you the going there? First in Marathi. Yeah. So I didn't even know it was in Latour. Okay. Then we were told, oh, it's in Latour. And I was like, 
oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is God's way of like... <laughs> messing with yeah, you? Yeah, messing with me or something. <laughs> like, so. so then I, when I went to meet her, um, she was like so nice, so friendly, so sweet. Yeah. She, um, I mean, it was like so long ago, but at the same time, it's like, it's such an amazing moment. And within a second of seeing her and she looks at you, she's yours. You know, uh, there's a beautiful thing that Gauri Khan had said and even Karina Kapoor. Yeah. So they said that this constant paparazzi thing that is happening with kids and the constant focus and attention, um, basically because of that, Abram uh, doesn't like to go outdoors. Yeah. He likes to stay indoors when he's meeting paparazzi and photo photographers. He says, don't click pictures. Uh, Taimur has started telling his own family members, like Karina was saying that, you know, even when we try to click a picture in the family, if we try to click a selfie, he says, no pictures. Yeah. So it, it's affecting them in a yeah. way. Yeah, and I can definitely can understand that for sure. I can see that yeah. and I can understand that. Uh, so we've, I don't know, yeah. again, like we don't know what other families do, yeah. how they and have conversations with their, their, their children. Own. For us, I, I don't want it, I don't want them to know that I am upset that the yeah. photographers are taking photos. So I always say, no Asher, say hello. Okay, let's go now. Yeah. Because if I make it, Oh, no, no, no. Let me hide you. Let me figure out what to then do. They're also then they feel that weird. too. They then think they, they're scared. Then they yeah. might. I don't, want them, to think it's, yeah, yeah. And I don't right. want them to think it's danger or so, something yeah. like that. Like I said, because we have a good relationship with them too. And when the, we the ask the them, press. all right, guys, you got your photo now. Like, yeah. let's cool. move on. Yeah. Um, and then with Nisha, what I do always, if the cameras are there, I ask her, do you want to say hello? Or are you okay? Or do you feel scared? Do you not want to take a photo? I ask her before. Um, when I know that they're coming or they're right in the middle of it. I go, yeah. Nisha, are you okay? Because you can tell yeah. it's just yeah. my kid. And sometimes so, yeah. overwhelming for a She child. says, no, I don't want to. So I pick her up and then no. put her down. So, and then that's where it ends. And I tell the guys, uh, she's done. She doesn't yeah. want to take a photo with you guys. Sometimes she wants to say hi, some, sometimes she doesn't. Yeah. And I don't ever force them to say hello. I ask them if they want to, or sometimes, you know, the boys are too. Anybody who says hi to them, they say hi back. Yeah. You know, so they are so innocent. They have, they don't know. All of a sudden, you got one saying hello. One's got his finger up his nose. Nisha's like in the corner, like, what's happening here? <laughs> so. Yeah. And this is also like really uncharted territory for us because yeah. we didn't grow up Seeing in this. industry families where parents were in the industry, like many other people have, where this is just the next this generation of the True. same. For us, this is all new. So, you know, it's again. No but, you, but you guys have been amazing parents. Like uh, for heart to heart, this was my last question. And before moving on, I would say that you guys have three special pieces of your heart. Yeah. And that, that stays because you guys are amazing parents. And we can see that, you know, in the way you're so hands on with your kids. And thank you. We'll thank move on to you. the final segment, which is actually going to be a competition between the two of oh, you. No. Okay. Who does groceries? Before we begin, I want to know. I do. So you have higher chances of winning. Don't let us down. So we are back with Sunny and Daniel for the final segment, which is, as you can guess, guess the price. And Daniel, you have said that you do the groceries, so there's immense pressure on you to deliver. So, uh, do you think you will win? Oh, I, I'm a little out of touch with reality, so <laughs> um, self-admitted, so I know the final price of things. I don't know individual prices, because my bill always seems to be really high, and I never really figure out what made it so high. It's a pumpkin. Maybe, so, okay, <laughs> let's see what we got. Okay, so the uh, thing is very simple. I'll show you products and uh, each product has a particular price. You have to guess whoever is closer gets okay. a point. Okay, here we okay? go. Okay, so the first one is juice. 6.99 rupees. Okay. I'm gonna say 5.99. 6.99 and 5.99 for juices. This is just 135 rupees. <laughs> really? But you still get a point, oh, despite okay. it being like, like out of the stadium. <laughs> So this is mm. chocolate syrup. Never, okay, listen. I've never bought that. This, yes, yes you have because it's in our fridge. No, I, I don't think I bought it. I have it. it all the time. I think that you got it from across the street at Romans. Okay. Let's now if see. I have to go to Romans, now that we know now how much we, juice yeah. is. <laughs> mm. Two ninety nine. Okay. I'm going to say two fifty. dollars Sunny wins again because what? it's two hundred. dollars <laughs> Okay, we're getting close. So Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Salmon flap. 
which is uh, 200 grams of almond flour. I like almond flour. 399. I'm going to say 200. I think this one Daniel has got because this is 320 rupees. Oh, 320. Okay. So, of course, he's Good. got it. You can win. So, this is a pack of seven yes. scientific napkins. Okay, 199. I'm going to say 150. Sunny's got it again. Oh, what? it's 78 rupees. Oh, that's cheap. I'll get this all is that. besan, I don't even which is gram flour. Okay. Uh, 250 grams of What do you gram use flour. that for? Then I'll determine the price. So you use it to make bhajiyas. Bhajiya. Pakore. And pakore. Yeah. And a lot of other things. 99 rupees. Okay. Mm, 120. Okay, so you get it. This is 35. Clearly, what? if we had a <laughs> grocery store, if you had a grocery a, store, you'd yeah. be really wealthy. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would have looted them already. I don't know. They do loot us, I think. I, I maybe think they so do too. mess with me. Yeah, it's a biscuit. Mm, that's probably 50 rupees. 99. 30 rupees. What? Yes. So <laughs> 30 rupees for all those biscuits? Is that what the Indian biscuits all the time? Probably. <laughs> We have the decider, which is the decider in all our rounds, and nobody gets it correctly. Not many, majority of them don't get it correctly. So it's one kilo salt. Oh. And I've given you a hint that nobody mostly gets it correct. It's a tiebreaker. How about I'm going to guess 280? Okay. I'm going to guess 100. It's 20 rupees. 20 rupees? I win! Oh my god. That's 20 ridiculous. rupees? That is ridiculous. I wanted to say less, but then I was like, no. I'm shopping at the wrong place. 20 we rupees? We are shopping at the I've wrong place. Nothing on my bill has been 20 rupees nothing, ever. Nothing, ever. Ever. So clearly. Oh, very nice. Sunny wins it. That must be food worth like 50,000 rupees. So Sunny got the hamper. Nice. Oh, thank you. Wow. So thank nice. You. Very nice. It's a hamper of chunk food. Yay. I would like to take a minute to welcome you back to our Twitter family. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. You guys are lovely. Thank you. And it was so much fun. You guys are amazing thank together. You. you guys are amazing parents. Thanks. And hope to see you soon. Yeah. We'll thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sunny Leone. Hey, what's up? I'm Daniel. And you're watching us on Pink Villa. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And then just watch the whole interview again because he's so cute, you guys. <laughs>